Dear students, in this module, we're going to talk about the open file formats that exist in mass spectrometry based proteomics. The mass spectrometer measures the mass which are ratio and abundance of proteins and peptides in its chamber and outputs it in the form of raw data. Now, there are multiple types of mass spectrometer instruments that are out there in the market and each one of them has its own raw file format. In order for you to be able to process this data, you need to have some standard file format and therefore the need for open file formats. More so, once some mass spectrometry instrument gets upgraded, the raw file format that was there for the previous instrument no longer remains valid. So if you have written a software to read the raw file format of the previous instrument, your software will no longer work with the new version of the instrument. This is another motivation to have an open data format in order for your software code to be working all the time. Moreover, the raw file formats are proprietary. So you don't know exactly what the instrument manufacturer has done in its format and how uh, the company has organized the data in the format. Therefore, your software will need to be written in consultation with the instrument manufacturer. But that is seldom the case and therefore raw file format processing is extremely difficult. The solution that is developed was the open file formats or the XML based formats. For instance, MZ data, MZ ML, MZ XML and so on and so forth. The MZ data file format was developed by HUPO PSI that is the Human Proteomics Organization and the MZ XML was uh, uh, developed by the Institute of Systems Biology at Seattle and these file formats continue to grow rapidly because of their openness and because of their accessibility. Moreover, a joint venture between HUPO and uh, Institute of Systems Biology led to the formation of a new format called MZML. So this actually brought together MZXML and MZ data into a single open file format. The evolution of these formats is depicted by this chart where at the beginning we just had the MGF file and the pure peaks format and then in 2004 MZXML was introduced and in 2006 HUPO introduced the MZ data however in 2008 MZML was introduced as a combination of MZXML and MZ data so in this way the open file formats are becoming very informative and very uh, useful towards the processing of proteomics data. Next, there are several tools that are there that you can use to output your raw file formats into the standard formats and process the standard formats. This table tabulates all of these formats for you. So depending on which file format you're looking at, you can Select the tool of your choice to process your data. For instance, the OpenMS can output data in MZML, TRAML, MZData, MZQuantML, and so on and so forth. So now all of these open formats can be easily read and are available in the form of software online. Moreover, there are some other tools as well for the same purpose. They include Anubis, Proteus, Skyline, Atax, Cora, and so on and so forth. So these tools also provide you with standard data file formats which you can use for your own process. In conclusion, several file formats exist as open file formats and you can choose the one which you like and you can write your algorithms by using those file formats. More so, MZXML and MGF 
are the leaders in open uh, file formats and therefore are the most prevalent and the most employed by bioinformaticians all over the world.